Paul here, VK3HN. I'll give you a guided tour of this homebrew 200 watt class D pulse width modulated AM transmitter for 160 meters. Let's start with the VFO. This is a completely conventional Arduino Nano and SI5351 phase locked loop arrangement. The board is mounted right behind the front panel. It's a little bit difficult for me to get the camera in there, but there you can see the Nano and the SI5351 board um, with a buffer underneath it and some power regulation. This board is the transmitter. It's a complete pulse width modulator. Uh, these two FETs here, which are IRFP260s and a power diode between them, um, does the pulse width modulation. And these four FETs here um, are the RF switching stage, power output stage, capable of a good 100 watts, quite conservative, conservatively rated. So operating in parallel, there's a second RF power module, and that's hanging off this second heatsink. And that's just simply the same RF power module with four uh, switching FETs and an IXD614 driver um, that is driven by the same clock. Um, so they're in phase. They're both uh, pushing and pulling at the same time. And uh, both RF switching stages or RF power stages are driven by the same pulse width modulator on the left-hand board. So the two... RF power outputs are combined in this RF power combiner board here. The transformer on the right um, does the power combining and the transformer on the left is a, uh, a tapped single winding auto transformer to transform a 25 ohm impedance of the, um, of the power combining transformer up to 50 ohms. Details of this from W8JI. Output of the power combiner is into a conventional W3 NQN low pass filter. So from the mic socket via a gain control straight into a very conventional um, microphone amplifier that's a that's an, a, a field effect transistor on the on the microphone input and a TL071 op amp uh, delivers about a volt to two volts peak to peak into the pulse width modulator. So now over to the, the beast of a power supply. Well, I call it a beast because it's the biggest power supply I've ever, ever uh, built. So easily capable of 500 watts, probably more. This was a uh, industry piece that I picked up from a disposal store a few years back and I wound um, a second, a, a 100 volt secondary with taps. So the secondary is tapped at every 10 volts down to 60 volts, so 100 down to 60 volts here, which allows me just to step up the power, the AC power into the regulator. This board is the rectifier, it's mounted underneath and is flush with the bottom of the, of, of the chassis and um, the capacitor bank, 9,000 microfarads at 250 volts. Then this board running along here is a switching regulator. So uh, it works exactly like a, um, uh, conventional switching circuit. The, um, the PWM chip is hard to see but it, because the board is mounted vertically but it's actually right there and that's a TL598. Um, that drives this IC here which is um, the high side of a IR2110 into a switching FET there. So the regulator can take 100 volts DC in and provide 0 to 80 or 90 volts fully regulated, um, fully variable uh, on its output. And over here on the side here, we've got a soft starter just to, um, just to alleviate any switch on thump. So the circuits for the whole transmitter are available on my blog. Just Google VK3HN and you'll find it. Well, that was slightly longer than a minute. Hopefully you're still with us. Let's see how it goes on air. EK3HN.
Hello. VK3HN, VK3 Hotel November. Uh, good morning, Laurie. Um, good morning. Well, that's good news because the, uh, the transmitter has come together. Paul, I've heard your transmission. Sounds terrific. Nice and crisp. Uh, telephonic sort of... That's not a criticism. That's a, it's a good thing on this band. Anyway, let's, let's hear more about your adventures with that uh, project. VK3 Hotel November, VK3 X-Ray Uniform. Good morning, VK3XU in the group, VK3HN. It's a pair of H-Bridge modules and um, pulse width modulation and uh, running about 100 watts of carrier and um, uh, on about a 60 volt rail, um, about uh, two amps steady, kicking up to uh, two and a quarter amps. Okay, Paul. Yes, I didn't comment on your transmission earlier on, on my previous transmission. <clears throat> well, let me say that it's robust. It's very, very good. You're peaking up to about 21 dB over 9, which is uh, what Laurie does at the best of times. And the modulation is superb. Only one really picky minor, minor comment, and that is the, uh, the modulation is a little bit spitty. Um, possibly something to do with your microphone or, or how close you are to the microphone, but that's being really, really picky. Nothing to do with your transmitter. It's, uh, it's going like a rocket. Good morning to everyone from uh, Death Valley this morning, where it was absolutely freezing, and I do mean freezing. Paul, good to hear you on, and um, that set's working uh, quite well indeed. You're a very strong signal uh, here in uh, Death Valley, and uh, good to hear that your efficiencies and everything as they should be. And uh, as I said before, uh, when you were having those problems, I suspected it was the drive uh, to that regulator uh, transistor. Paul, your, um, your transmitter sounds quite nice uh, over here, that's for sure. Slurry said it sounds like you've got it going just about right. Good morning, everyone. Enjoy your day. I should be here tomorrow. VK3 Hotel November, VK3 X-Ray Uniform. Uh, VK3XU, VK3 Hotel November. Uh, very good, all well copied, and uh, thanks for all the comments. It's, it's been uh, fun to call in today. Um, j just a few uh, quick comments. Um, I hadn't realised the exclusivity, but that's very likely to be the case for a number of their product ranges. So, uh, so that, that's an informative observation. We'll uh, keep it moving. Um, I'm delighted to be uh, calling in this morning on a uh, on this homebrew transmitter project. It's taken me six months. It's all running cool. Touch wood. Hopefully there won't be any more smoke, and there'll be many more coffee break QSOs and other QSOs on 160 meters AM to come. Uh, VK3HK with the group VK3HN seven threes. Good morning all.